everybody, and welcome to a little update video. And a video where I just kind of want to talk about just a messy string of stuff that will probably be all over the place. And I'm playing, so I'm getting over it in the background. Although I'm playing it as I'm talking, so I can't uh, guarantee that I won't freak out at some point during this video. I think it's a very uh, fitting game to play for the topic of discussion. The, the main topic I want to talk about is uh, school. It's just an update on school. Uh, so I, I finished my semester uh, about a week or two ago. I actually have three more semesters uh, before I am done. And this is, I'm really starting to regret playing this game because it's hard to talk and play at the same time because it does require a lot of focus. All right, let's just get over this tree. Uh, in case you just found my channel, I, I've been studying uh, computer science or software engineering. I've, I, I started as a computer science major back in 2011. Uh, then I kind of went part time and I took some time off to do YouTube full time and now I'm back doing online college and I'm studying uh, software engineering. That's that's my proper major, which is pretty similar to computer science. Like the first couple years of it and computer science are basically the same thing. Uh, then it kind of splits off from there and focuses more on the process of designing software based on uh, programming fundamentals and really or just computer science fundamentals and I'm on the tail end of it now I, I am I am senior status I'm very senior status uh, I've been in college for six plus years now <laughs> I should have graduated in 2015 if I stayed on the uh, four-year track the traditional four-year track but that's besides the point I, I transferred to an online college instead uh, <clears throat> Oh my god. Wow, I'm actually doing amazing at this. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see here. This, this past semester, I just got done with my software systems class, which is a class where you learn how to make different programs of different programming languages, whether it's Java or C++. Uh, you get them to work together. Uh, I made some uh, media application where I, I had a Java program, uh, which acted as the server program, which runs on a... It was on a Raspberry Pi. On this little thing, it's called a Raspberry Pi. And a lot of you might be familiar with one of these things. It actually has a lot of uses. You can run a lot of things on these things. Uh, but I, I had a Linux operating system running on this. Uh, and then it ran a Java server. Connect this to my network. Uh, server's up and running. You can connect to it from anywhere, basically. Uh, and then I had a C++ client, uh, which would connect to the Java client. No, and it acted as like a media server where I could browse media files on this thing from my computer elsewhere. Um, and then I can choose to add things to it or I could choose to remove things to it uh, or even play uh, media that happens to be on it. So that was like one of my first classes I took this semester. And then another class I took was a mobile and mostly a web development class, which focused on uh, JavaScript and general. I learned a lot about HTTP and how the internet pretty much works, at least from a legacy standpoint. I mean, there's a lot of, it changes all the time. Uh, but I basically learned a lot about HTTP and how requests and uh, responses worked when it comes to just connecting to a web page. Learned all about Ajax, and a common theme between the couple the classes I took this semester was this thing called JSON. I learned all about JSON. JSON is great. It's become like my favorite thing because it's an easy way to transfer information from uh, server to client or client to server. And then, ooh, let's just get up here. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. I also took a third software engineering class. Like it's been, it's been nonstop software engineering classes this semester. Like I have no general education and I have no electives. Uh, I, I'm basically coming into this program late. Uh, being a, I came in as like a pretty much a junior year student. Uh, and I, I didn't really have any of the, the core classes completed. I just had like basic Java classes and completed and a little bit about computer architecture. Uh, and I, th I took a digital logic class at one point as well. Uh, so I was basically cramming. I, I, I've been cramming the entire program into just a couple years. So it's been pretty intense. Uh, and this semester especially has been probably one of the most mentally taxing semesters I've had when it comes to just getting like tackling that and running my YouTube channel at the same time because this semester I was relentless. I, <laughs> I just absolutely refused to go a day without uploading just because like I didn't, I didn't go a single day. I don't think I went a single day in 2017 without uploading. I may be wrong. Maybe I took one day off. 
Uh, but I, I just didn't want to do it because <laughs> last year I took a lot of uh, days off uh, in 2016. Uh, and, I, and I felt like it kind of hurt my channel a little bit, so I, I didn't want to make the same mistakes I did last year. The biggest challenge of all uh, is, is keeping my channel going in, in a way where it can uh, still grow and uh, even maintain where it currently is at. So that means playing... Oh, Jesus Christ. I never, I never fall from this, but I almost fell from that. That means, like, you know, playing uh, games that are new and coming out. Uh, playing games that uh, you guys like on this channel. Uh, whoops, okay. And, you know, um, I'll just be honest, it's what gets the views as well. Gotta get the views, because that's YouTube. Gotta get the views, it's all about the views. And the fun factor, I like to find a happy medium between that. Like, there are a lot of games, and there are a lot of games that I like to play, but they won't necessarily get any viewership on YouTube. And when you run a gaming YouTube channel, it's just something you have to accept. Uh, not everyone is going to be interested in everything that you play. Uh, and if you do have a channel where everyone is, where your, your viewers are interested in everything that you play, then you have found the holy grail of YouTube. Oh god, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh god, come on. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? What am I going on about? Like I said, this is going to be like a messy video. I'm just going to talk about lots of things and ch and challenging things that I've gone through this semester. Uh, let's see here. Oh yes, maintaining a YouTube channel while in college. Uh, it's hard. It's it's very hard because that, that that's really my fear. That's always been my fear when it comes to tackling college. Like ever since I started in 2011, I think I made a tweet and I, I had found this tweet and, and I said something along the lines of, all right, uh, last weekend until college, uh, I really hope I can maintain my YouTube channel throughout it. Uh, because you'll have your easy semesters and you'll have your hard semesters. And my, my ultimate fear of do, uh, doing college and YouTube is uh, having that one semester that just completely destroys you. Uh, in terms of work and you know, like I just can't I just can't like get anything out on my channel because I, I'm too focused on uh, Oh god, okay, okay, okay. I, I told you I promise I can't freak out. <laughs> I won't freak out while doing this uh, But thankfully it, it hasn't been like that bad for me I mean, I can't have a life right now I've, I've, I've kind of just accepted that and that's really a sad reality of college uh, and, and if you just happen to be working at the same time is you just have to be prepared to not have a life If you're in like an engineering program or something like that, or maybe you're going to medical school or something There are just some programs where You know what you just got you just got to buckle down and you got to do it uh, if you want to You know get that sweet job at the end of the day, you know, it pays really well or uh or maybe it's your dream job, but you know it's going to be very, very hard to accomplish that. Uh, and, you, and you work now while you're young, and then you get to enjoy the spoils when you're older. Although not, not that it will be any easier when you're older, but uh, you know, it's like getting all those prerequisites out of the way. The, 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 this, this semester was definitely like one of those semesters where I was like, I have so much stuff to do, but I got to get a video out for the next day, and it would result in a lot of a lot of sleepless nights. Uh, but I have gotten through it. Uh, I'll, I'll be going to Canada uh, after Christmas, and that's where I'll get like my nice week off, where I'll definitely be keeping up on all my sleep. So unfortunately, now I am uh, uh, I am uh, kind of like in grindy mode with YouTube because like this is my time where I can record games without the interference of college, so I can get so I could afford to spend lots of time playing this and getting good at it and mastering it and then posting. Uh, and then posting it on my channel, whereas like I could not do that uh, during the semester. So I, I do like to take advantage of that time as much as possible, but I, I will be getting my proper rest time uh, the day after Christmas for about a week, where I will do lots and lots of sleeping, and I'll be visiting family, and I'll be in Canada, I'll probably go ice skating, and I'll... If there's any snow, I hope there's... Oh god, I hope there's snow. There should be snow there. Uh, just let, that, That'll be the week of relaxation. Uh, and you know what? And you know what? And, that, that, and that's like I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because, like I said, like this this is just the time of uh, my life. I feel like this is my time to work. I I don't really get to have a life until probably when I'm 26 years old when I graduate. I have three semesters now. I I just completed this past semester, uh, and and that may sound like a lot, but the next semester after this one is probably my heaviest, my last 
quote unquote heavy one. I think this one I just finished was actually actually the heaviest. I'm not expecting this next one to be as heavy, but I'll reserve that judgment for when I'm actually doing the work. Uh, but I'll, I'll be taking this class on database management where I'll be learning a lot about PHP and MySQL, if, if you are familiar with that stuff. I don't have any experience with it, uh, but I've heard a lot about it. I've heard it's very useful. Uh, it's very sought after when it comes to uh, applying for jobs. Oh, no! Okay, whatever. No, so like... When, when, when you're in college, like, you just have to think, like, okay, a year, from, like, one semester from now, I'll be able to say, I have a year left of college. And you know what's actually getting me excited now? Once 2018 hits, I can say the phrase, I'm graduating next year. I graduate the spring of 2019. This next semester is going to be the heavy one. I have another full-time semester, but I plan on taking some summer classes where it'll technically just be part-time work. Uh, and if all goes well, the next two semesters after that are going to be six unit semesters each. If all goes well, there could, there could be some nine unit semesters if, if I don't take it like as many classes in the summer. Those last two semesters are basically my senior project. I have a capstone project where I'll be working with a team of people all online. We'll just, I guess we'll meet every single week. I, I've been doing that with some of my classes. Uh, and we'll have like an actual industry client like or a sponsor. I think it's, it's sponsor slash client. Uh, and we'll be tasked to design uh, a, like a software application or just a project in general. I'll just call it a project. Um, or the first semester will be more so focused on the, the research and the design phase. And I think we'll have to have a working prototype uh by the end of the first semester and then the second semester will be the implementation portion of it where obviously by the end of it you have to have a fully finished product uh that works and it will actually be used by the client uh who wanted it to get done and then that's where i'll be done that, that's that's really it i have i have a couple other software engineering classes which is more so just related to the uh Kind of just getting experience in the field. I, I, I have a sequence of six classes, which is, is geared towards just the process of making software. Uh, and I'm taking the fourth one next semester, and then I got two more after that. So it's really after this semester where I'll be done with the gaining knowledge part of college. And it's really just the experience part of my program that I'll have to finish. Uh, so I'm excited for that. I'm okay with that challenge of just toughing it out for another semester. Uh, probably won't have a life, <laughs> but that's what you got to do, I, I think. You, you know, I, I think hard work does pay off. And if you get knocked down, you just got to get back up, which is why I'm playing this game, because even though this is such a stupid game, getting over it, uh, I, I, I do always appreciate those games where I can see a really good analogy for life. Uh, you're, the cards you are drawn are not good. You don't have a good hand. But you know what? You gotta work with that hand anyways. But if you play your cards right, you know, things can work out. I don't know, I guess that's how I can phrase it. With enough practice. Or how about this? With enough determination, things can work out. With enough persistence. How about that? Persistence is uh, a good way of describing it. If you fall back down, you just get back up. And you know what? You, f you learn from your mistakes and you get better at it. And then, even if you fall down, you'll realize, hey, you know what? I've done this before. I've done this before. I, I'll just do this again. I don't give a shit. I've been hit. <laughs> it's like you're you're getting hit with the big stick. And then once you get hit with the smaller stick, you're like, oh, that wasn't so bad at all. That was not so bad. But you don't learn unless you get hit with the big stick. What I am saying is stay in school, kids, and let life give you a beating. Let life destroy you while you're young, because you can afford it. And then you'll become a stronger person at the end of the day. And you will get to the top of the mountain, no matter how long it takes. Oh God! No matter how many schools you have to go to, no matter how prolonged your college experience may be, if you make it to the top of the mountain, 
That's all you will care about at the end of the day. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I'll also be taking a mobile applications class. Like, it's it's, it's gonna be nothing but, uh... Oh, Jesus Christ, let's get back in here, get back in here, get back in here, get back in here, okay. I'm going to be taking a mobile development class. I had a choice between a web development class, a follow-up to the one that I just took this past semester. This past, this, the, the one I took this semester was like kind of like a half and half class. It was in like an introductory class to it. And then I could take a follow-up class to it, which is more advanced topics on web development. Or I can take a mobile applications class. Uh, and I kind of signed up for the mobile applications class because I, I said screw it. I'm gonna I'm gonna decide based on the pleasure factor. That just sounded much more interesting to me, uh, and I kind of liked it a lot more when we got to that topic in this class that I just took. So I'll be learning all about Android and iOS this next semester, which I'm really excited about. Uh, and that will be my last programming class in terms of new topics. <laughs> I don't I don't I, don't, I like I, I I feel like I have a lot to say about like all of this. Uh, but I don't know, it, it, it's just kind of like this excitement in my head that, you know, that I can say I have three more semesters left of college. Uh, and it's been such a long journey uh, through college. Uh, I, I, I've, I've, I've always had this internal dilemma uh, about college and YouTube. Uh, do I just drop out of college and I, uh, I, I, I embark on this career of getting a YouTube channel with millions of subscribers and getting all of these views and oh my god I'll move to LA and I'll live that life or something like that uh, but I, I've, I've always well I mean okay I, I, I've internally have always felt that like okay this won't last forever like it'll last like five years at best uh, but a lot of other people don't share that opinion, or actually maybe most people do, and they're just kind of li living their 15 minutes uh, like it's their last 15 minutes, I guess. Uh, more power to them. Uh, but it, I've also always had in my head like, yeah, I need a plan B in life, and so I, I want to get that done. Please make it- No! Oh, God, that was a pretty big bump! Whew, okay. <laughs> I think things are going okay now, and I have a lot of plans with, uh, the derps right now, at least uh, me, Chilled, uh, Tom, and Galm are all planning on being in the same location in Austin, Texas. I am trying to move out there with Tom as my roommate. Uh, we're in the middle of applying for a house right now, uh, but we haven't had anything accepted yet, so I don't want to just get ahead of myself. Uh, but we, we are... Uh, Tom is already there, uh, but I am hoping to be there in January preferably before my next semester starts. So we're talking pretty soon. Uh, but I have a feeling it'll probably spill into when the next semester starts. So uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, and we, we really, we want to try doing something different. You know, we, we've, we're, I think we're all at a point where, you know, we've, we've done this for so long uh, that we would like to have a more of a dynamic lifestyle. At least I would. I, I would like to have a little bit more of a dynamic lifestyle while, you know, still getting to do what we do. You know, we play video games. We make fun videos. Uh, but we, I, I'd like to, at least me personally, I'd, I'd like to get more of that human factor uh, into this. Like, you know, we're all hanging out with uh, as friends and we're maybe we're filming skits or something or we're playing games on a couch together. And this is just for our friendship as well. It's like we get to hang out with each other all the time. And uh, that even that just there alone, like, you know, you, you work on just the friendship aspect of things uh, that can lead to just better content in general as well. Uh, you build more, much more cohesion that way. I think that can that, that can lead to a fun life. Uh, that that that's just my uh, perspective. It's it's something new. It's something different. It's kind of breaking the status quo a little bit, and that's uh, what we're we're hoping for in 20, 2018. So I'm hoping to get out there soon. Gollum is already out there. Gollum has lived in Texas, but so he just moved like a few hours south to uh, Austin. Uh, Tom moved there from Connecticut. Uh, I think Chilled wants to move there in the spring, but I'll let him. I'll let him talk about that. Uh, I don't exactly know his plans. Um, and then yeah, I don't. I don't want to like say like you know like oh we're planning to do this and this and this and this and this and this and this because I, I don't. I don't want to like you know raise excessive expectations because the reality is it's probably going to be a little bit of a slow start. Uh, once we move out there, I'll probably be. 
uh, bogged down with just settling in, and then I'll have my semester that I talked about. It's gonna probably gonna be another heavy semester, so I'll probably be stressed out of my mind trying, trying to get my content on my channel or recording as normal. I'm getting settled in. Then Chill will ultimately start moving down, and he'll probably get bogged down in that. Uh, then hopefully by summertime things will, maybe things will start moving along. Uh, then I'll be done with my semester, of course, and I'll be able to say, I only have one more year of college, guys! Just one more year! I'm really hoping that, uh, by next two semesters after this next semester, my last year of college, the workload won't be as high. Because I do have, while I do have a capstone project, it's going to be largely, mostly that that I am doing, and I'm not sure if that will... I mean... I know, it's, it's it's really hard to predict how much work a capstone project is going to be. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping it's not going to be like a full semester's worth of work. Uh, they're, it, they're three unit classes. They're two three unit classes spread across the year. So um, I, would, I would like to think that it's about three units of work. Uh, but I will not... I'll reserve that judgment for when I am actually doing the project. But I'm hoping my last year of college isn't so bad. And uh, there's a bit more time to do some stuff on the YouTube end. <clears throat> oh god, I fell again. God damn. I really, I really appreciate games like Shell Shock. Uh, like we, we've done so much uh, Shell Shock live over the past year, uh, and, we, and we we tend to have that. Like the Derp Crew, we we, we tend to have uh, those games where we'll record like a hundred plus episodes, and then maybe we'll find this new game that we love, and then we'll record a hundred plus episodes of that. Uh, it's just it, it's just uh, one of those games where it's really it really helps to keep the flow of daily content going. Uh, it's a game that we find that everyone loves. We love the game too, and we can record a lot of it uh, in bulk. And we try to keep the good games uh, on our channels. We, we try to try to do some quality control, but every every so often uh, we'll have sessions where maybe we just all did bad, and then people aren't around to record some more games, and then it becomes tempting to to reach into those those bad games and <laughs> we'll just upload them so I, I can be guilty of that uh, but obviously I, I would love to get to the point where like I'm, I'm recording a lot of new games all the time and uh, starting a bunch of series like maybe a, maybe a game will last five episodes and then it's like bang 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 okay that game is done bang 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 this game is done bang 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 this game is done rather than just like playing like maybe the same five games for like three months and then oh finally we'll find a new game it's 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 just it's really hard to keep up with all the new games that come out uh with my current schedule so that's something i hope that i can make better at least in the second half of next year uh but i'm not sure if i would expect anything for the first half of next year because i'll be honest it's going to be a tough semester but i will try i'm always i'm always trying but speaking of uh everyone who's moving out to austin texas uh me, me, Chilled, Gollum, and Tom. Uh, we actually started a podcast about a couple months ago now. I think we've done six shows. Uh, we have a podcast now called Tangled Chords, uh, which doesn't really, it's not really about anything in particular other than just us talking. Like, just think of it as, uh, you know, but this is like a Skype conversation or a Discord conversation or whatever the kids are using these days. Everyone likes Discord now, but we still use Skype to like communicate with each other over text. And then we'll jump in our TeamSpeak server or we'll jump in a Discord server. Things have gotten so, so much more complicated. Uh, in terms of well, what clients people are using. <laughs> uh, but to just think of like, you know, like these are just our normal conversations and there's uh, many times where like, before we get the podcast going, we'll just start talking about stuff and I'm just like, guys, guys, just save it for the podcast. We're already like on tangents and everything. <laughs> uh, so in a way you can just say it's a show about nothing, kind of like Seinfeld. Uh, it's uh, why I, I think the name Tangled Chords fits really well because it just think of it like uh, a pile of tangled cords it's just what are we talking about like okay you have this conversation then you got this conversation you got that conversation what are they talking about now oh okay we're finally gonna talk about video games because sometimes we don't even talk about video games even though we we uh we play video games on our channel i think we've had one episode where like i think one of the major topics was about video games i think we might have talked about video games a little bit in the last podcast we did but uh you should go watch it. It's on twitch.tv slash tangled chords. And I, I, we want to get like a main YouTube channel at some point. 
uh, where we stick them on, but we're, we're trying to figure out the logistics of like how we want to do that at the moment. But you, you can watch them on uh, on the Twitch channel for the time being if you want to watch the video form, or you can listen to the podcast in audio form uh, on the SoundCloud. And eventually we will get uh, them on iTunes and everything as well. We've, we've been kind of slow to get things going. But but we kind of we kind of see the podcast as like you know that's something to that's something to get us started for like you know if we're all going to be out there in Texas like and if we want to do something like anything major you know like let's start a podcast so we got a podcast going and we and we hope that we can turn it into something even more uh, such as the podcast you know being mo- a more in person podcast where we're all sitting there at a table rather than having our webcams uh, uh, over Skype. Uh, so we, we hope that will eventually evolve over time as well. No. Jesus Christ, and I fell! Ah. Well, that was really easy, okay. I'll just do that from now on. What was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Oh God, Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, 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 I had to get through that. <laughs> Basically, never give up. Keep your eye on that light at the end of the tunnel, because that's just what I've been desperately trying to do uh, for pretty much this whole year. I've taken so much, so many, so many programming courses this year. It's been so taxing uh, for me mentally. Uh, and if you're ever in a situation like that, just know it's temporary. Just get through the hard years. And then hopefully things will be better later on. Always give yourself, uh, always know that those hard times are temporary. Hopefully, I hope those hard times are temporary. Mm. There we go, there we go. Oh my God, I got the hat. I got the hat, oh, I didn't even move the hat. All right, I'm also planning on getting this cut. I feel like that's become my thing now is like, uh, I have seven week sessions. I actually have split semesters. Uh, I'll take seven and a half week sessions for like a session A and then a seven and a half week session for a session B. And I feel like uh, I always get a haircut at the beginning of session A and then it will become super long and scraggly and I'll have the hobo beard. Uh, and then I'll be fresh for session B and then you know, it'll be the same process. I need to get my haircut right now because it's beginning super unruly. Can I make it? No, I didn't make it. Crap. Also need to work on Dirt Fitness. Uh, I feel like during these semesters, uh, when things start getting hairy, that's the first thing to go. Uh, definitely put on the pounds there, but it's nothing that I can't get rid of. Uh, that will be a task for 2018. 2018! I will be a new man! I will be an almost graduated new man, and you will be a year older. Well, I'll be a year older. All right, semester number one. All right, semester one and a half, I guess? Semester number two. Semester number three. All right, and I am graduated right here. This represents graduation. And then we're at the bucket. There's only one thing left to do. I don't know. Should I do it? Yeah, I guess I should do it. And that about does it. Follow your dreams, then ride the snake. All right, have a happy holidays, happy new year. I don't know if I'll do another update video before the new year. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But until then, I'll see you next time. <laughs> I am so I got the shakes right now. Pick up the mouse and put it somewhere else. Clear everything out of the way. Put everything somewhere else. This mouse pad is exclusive to you.